be China's rare earth production, maybe the biggest in the world. But the industry is made up of producers who have small output. Fierce competition locally means low profit and inefficiency. Now the producers say they want to consolidate and merge into larger companies. Dong Jie has more. Curtains are opened for merging and acquisition in South China, but no large corporation has yet been formed. China Mine Metal Corporation so far leads the competition. The major player in the Chinese rare earth industry says it's eyeing the bigger picture. For many years, China's rare earth has been sold undervalued. By reshuffling the industry, we want to have our voices heard in the international market. In May, the State Council issued guidelines for the sound and sustained development of China's rare earth industry. It says the industry should be dominated by large corporations in one to two years. The bell for merging ran then, and companies all want to be involved. But insiders remind these eager players to have a sober mind. Resources are conserved in a certain place. That's not going to change geographically. To compete in industry, you need research and development as well as talents. The Ministry of Industry and Information Technology believes that once large companies are formed, resources can be used to their best. China is not using rare earth as a bargaining tool. While restructuring the industry, we'll consider reasonable demands from both China and elsewhere in the world. In 2002, China once restructured its domestic rare earth industry by creating two state-owned groups. But this largely failed due to opposition from powerful local authorities and local producers. Zhang Jie, CCTV.